The Scottish Games returning to the Altamont Fairgrounds today. Skylar Eagle now brings us inside the sights and sounds from folks celebrating their roots out in the Highland Lochs. The annual Scottish Games shed a light on all things Gaelic culture. Stone throwing, bagpipe playing and traditional food were all part of today's festivities. The festival draws hundreds from all over the Northeast, including solo bagpipe competition hopefuls Billy Joe Anderson and Tim Branch, who traveled from Connecticut. It's fun playing for people that have never heard of the bagpipes before. You see a lot of people for the first time, and then you got a lot of people that have been playing for years. Both Branch and Anderson trained for years to master the pipes, something they say is no easy task. Each person's different. They say it takes three years to make a piper. Um, a lot of us were up on pipes within a year's time, and um, you continually learn. So you could play a lifetime and there's always room for improvement. Another highlight of the Scottish Games, family connections. People gather to learn more about their ancestry and clan families and how they came to be here in the U.S. St. Andrew's Society of Schenectady has a specialized booth set up for people to find their home clan. We have books here that you can look up your name, your last name, and then see if it matches with a, a clan. 30% of the Scots were of the clan and 70% were um, district families. Donning his ancestral colors of the Pringle clan, Halley says the Scottish Games are his favorite days of the year. Phenomenal uh, opportunity to uh, think about Scotland, think about the heritage of Scotland. Reporting in Altamont, Skyler Eagle, News 10, ABC.